I used to live in this really small town in Korea, kind of outskirts of Seoul. And there is like small mountain and I used to go up there. There was this abandoned house. It had really good view because I could overlook our town. I would go up there and I sit down in a rock and then looking down the village and like <laughs> I totally, I kind of remember I was like something like three, four, I don't know. It's almost like I was looking at myself and then I would just stare at like little town for hours and hours by myself. And my parents all freaking out because I did that almost every day, I think. And they had no idea where I went at that time. So they're like, where did you go? Where did you go? And I was like, oh, I went to the mountain. And I was like, don't go there, don't go there, it's dangerous, don't go there. But I don't know. That's one of my child memory. I draw from the photographs that I take. Wherever I travel or go some places, I try to look for spaces with a lot of random stuff, just piles of things, like very chaotic, disorganized space. And I like the fact that those are totally like anonymous objects and they're defunct objects and they're just waiting for someone to find them and then reuse again. From the photographs, I construct a view and it usually have more than one space. That's how I start my installation drawings. The more I work with this kind of claustrophobic spaces, I started to realize that these are spaces kind of hidden within our lives. And I know we have so many things that we forget about and we always struggle for space for ourselves and space for things we own. So I'm interested in, in this kind of environment as hidden spaces. Yes, I make drawings with masking tape now, but I used to make drawings with knife and pigments and other materials. It takes a little time and more control to make actual line. And also when I'm making my drawings, once I put the line on the surface, I don't erase or take off the line on the surface. And if I want to make change, I just keep adding more line on top of existing line. It shows how my perception changes and accumulation of time. I'm trying to show all the process. I love staring at things and things that are not necessarily moving. So I like staring at plants. I like staring at like river. I like staring at trees. They don't really move like dynamic way, but the more you stare at them, the more you will see what's in them. So I think that kind of discovering process through our gaze is something that we're missing right now because the things that we look at is so fast and it's flashy and it comes and goes. So you don't really have to try to look at things anymore. We don't necessarily have this moment of time that we actually try to look at things and try to figure out what we are looking at. I mean, I just want to create that kind of you know, opportunity.